Hey guys, welcome back. Now, having access to your own private computer in the cloud really does give you so many benefits. I mean, for starters, you have access to a very powerful Windows 10 computer that you can access from pretty much any device, so from your Android cell phone to your Apple iPhone, to your Windows computer, your Apple TV, to your Chromecast, pretty much any device that you have, you can now access this highly powered computer in the cloud. On top of that, this computer actually has a very powerful GPU, the lowest being a GTX 1080. Now what this means is this will give you access to play the latest generation AAA titles on pretty much any device that you have. On top of that, unlike other cloud streaming services where you're limited to a certain library of games or a predefined library of games, with this service, because you have access to your own computer and it is effectively your own computer in the cloud, you could install pretty much any game you want, pretty much any launcher you want, pretty much any application you want because you are in full control of this machine. And lastly, in terms of internet bandwidth, as we can see with this small test here, your dedicated machine on the internet has this kind of bandwidth. That's right guys, we are talking almost one gigabit downstream that's dedicated just for you. Now, if this sounds like something you may be interested in, let me just show you the prices. So just for $12.99 a month, you get access to your own dedicated Windows 10 machine, which has a GTX 1080, it has a four core CPU, and you have 12 gigs RAM, with 256 gig of SSD storage. Now, if you do want to take it to the next level, obviously you can pay for 24 pounds and get the RTX 2080 or even 39 pound a month if you are a serious, serious gamer and you get the Titan RTX. So in this video today, let's talk about the Blade Shadow service. Let me explain to you exactly how it works. I'll then demonstrate me playing some games on a very basic tablet connected to the Shadow service and we'll then end up with a conclusion. So with all of that being said, Let's jump right into it. This is Shadow. A whole new way to play the latest games without buying a new PC. All you need is your internet connection and you can transform any device you own into a supercharged gaming computer. So how does it work? Simple. Your Shadow is right here. A full Windows 10 machine with high-end components stored securely in our data centers. Accessing your machine is as easy as logging into your Shadow account and streaming the image and sound directly to all your devices. Whether it's an old laptop, tablet, smartphone, or even Mac, enjoy your games on any device you choose. Your Shadow works exactly like a normal Windows 10 PC. You can install and run any software you want from the games you already own, to the latest titles, to whatever you may need. And the best part is, unlike a physical computer, your shadow is regularly upgraded and never becomes obsolete, which means you get high-end performance no matter what and never have to worry about hardware limitations ever again. Shadow, the best way to get a supercharged gaming computer on the devices you already own. Looks pretty good, right? But it is just the trailer. So let's actually find out what it's like in real life. Okay, so what is Shadow? So Shadow is a fully featured high-end Windows 10 computer in the cloud. Now, before you start saying, you know, cloud computing is not new, it's been around for many, many years. What's the big deal? Well, that is correct. So cloud computing has been around since the 70s. So, and the concept is you have a you know, powerful server or a bunch of servers in a server farm in a data center somewhere and you use your generally low powered computer to access those servers and the servers do the processing for you. Now, the big difference with Shadow is you actually get your own dedicated high-end GTX 1080 graphics card. Now, that's something I've never heard of before. So having access to a high powered GPU that you can access from anywhere sounds really impressive. And that's something I'm really looking forward to testing. And the key thing to mention here, guys, unlike general cloud computing, 
your resources, your CPU, your RAM, your disk, none of these components are shared with anybody else. They're dedicated just for you. So when you log into your computer, that's your computer with those resources just for you, including the main part, which is the GPU. So all of those components are dedicated just for you. And that does make a massive, massive difference. So in terms of specification, you get an Intel Xeon CPU, which has eight dedicated threads just for you. You get 12 gigabytes of RAM. You obviously get the GTX 1080 or equivalent graphics card. And in my case, I did get the full GTX 1080. You get 256 gig of dedicated storage and you get Windows 10 Home. So in terms of supported clients, you can access Shadow from Windows, from Linux, from Mac OS, uh, from Android. They are currently working on an iOS client and you can actually download the beta right now. So if you do want to test this on your iPhone or iPad, there is a beta client for you to test. Now, one last thing to mention here, guys, because game streaming has been done before. Um, I think back in 2010 or 2009, uh, a streaming service called OnLive, which basically was a subscription based service. You paid X amount of money per month. You got a small box. You plug that box into your TV and now you can stream, you know, a predefined list of games and play them. Um, I actually thought it was pretty good for its time, but unfortunately due to lack of infrastructure, due to limited number of games, because you could only play the games that were in the predefined library and other reasons, um, it just didn't really take off and eventually the company just shut down. And right now there is a streaming service from GeForce called um, GeForce Now or NVIDIA and it's called GeForce Now. And it once again allows you to play a bunch of predefined games on, you know, on your different devices. But the big difference with Shadow is because it's your own computer, you can you can do what you want on it. So Monday morning, I can decide to play a certain game. Tuesday, I can decide to do some video editing. Wednesday, I can decide to watch some 4K video. And then Thursday, I can play some different games. Because it's not a predefined list of games, I'm free to install whatever I want and play whatever I want, wherever I want. So that kind of freedom, I think, makes a big difference compared to some of the other services that are available right now. And here we can just see we do have a standard Windows 10 desktop like a normal Windows 10 machine. I've already installed Steam, I've installed Origin. As previously mentioned, because it's your machine, you can install pretty much wherever you want. I will just say one thing because I'm sure some of you are thinking, why not use this super powerful machine to mine Bitcoin? I've checked the terms and agreements on that and that definitely is a big no-no. So if you are thinking about getting this for mining Bitcoin, it's a no-go. Okay, let's have a quick look at that internet bandwidth because they did say we should be getting one gigabit. Let's just go to the standard speed test site. All right, and let's click on go. Let's see what kind of speed we get. Wow. Right, so that is some serious, serious bandwidth there, guys. We can see that's peaking at about 980 megabits downstream. That's the kind of connection I need. Okay, so we have 991 meg downstream. And looks like upstream is going to be around about 105 meg. That really is impressive. And again, because this is your own machine, you can be downloading stuff. You can use torrents on this legal. Wherever you want to download, it's your machine. You can do it. OK, so here we have the first game test. Uh, so this is Fortnite running on my Windows tablet. It's a Samsung tablet. It has an integrated GPU. Um, it's a, a CY. It's a low power CPU. Um, you can see the specs on the screen right now. Um, here we can just see I'm confirming to you guys that this is running on Epic settings. So I maxed out on all of the settings and I've plugged in my Xbox. Well, I'm using my Xbox controller just over Bluetooth. So Shadow does support Bluetooth controllers, specifically the Xbox One controller without installing any extra drivers. Uh, let me just skip to where I land. OK, so I've just landed and the first thing that hits me is just how good the game looks. So as we saw, we're running the game on maximum settings on Epic settings. And although you can't see it, the frame rate on the top right is locked on a solid 60. So okay, let me just skip forward a bit just so I can show you some building. We can see me doing that. Now, one of the cool things about Shadow is because you're connecting to, you know, a computer in the cloud, you could technically start a game on your desktop and then leave it running. Then when you pick up your Android phone or when you pick up another device, you can then carry on that game and continue playing from another device. So because that session is always running, you can connect it from multiple different devices and just keep gaming wherever you are. So let me just try and demonstrate that now. So I'm going to try and write a T, the letter T for Tech Doctor in the cloud whilst playing on my tablet. And let me see if I can take over that session using my Android phone. Let's just try that now. So there is a T in the clouds. Let me now plug in this controller, plug in my phone and click on connect. 
and within a second guys I've now taken over that session and I can carry on gaming wherever I am so we can see it is very seamless and it does seem to work pretty much straight away now one thing we did mention before which was input lag so so input lag basically means when I press a button on the controller or when I press space to jump on the keyboard how quickly does that control go from my keyboard or my mouse or my joypad or my controller through the internet onto the cloud onto the shadow pc where it understands the button i've just pressed and then acts upon it that's basically the input lag so the greater delay you have so for example i may press fire and then maybe 10 seconds later my character will then fire but as we can see here guys it's not the case um, this is not a scientific experiment but we can see when i'm pressing fire here it does seem to respond pretty much instantaneously um, i'm not going to say this is ready for your you know competitive gaming or that kind of stuff but for a normal person gaming i think it's hard to tell that i'm actually playing on a computer that's in the cloud next up we have forza 3 horizon and i mean when i saw this intro i was blown away i mean just how amazing do those graphics look but at the same time i was thinking this is only an intro what about the actual gameplay and then this happened we can see now the screen just goes full and that's me now actually controlling the car i think it looks amazing now i think if you do look carefully on the road you can see a slight compression in the graphics but unless you're really looking for it i don't think you can really tell i think it looks pretty amazing um unlike my driving um <laughs> So just imagine guys, imagine you know on your old computer, you know, maybe you don't have a really powerful graphics card or maybe you have an internal graphics card, but you could be playing a game like this of this quality, of this frame rate on pretty much any device. Wow, I mean just, just some of those details on like the water effects, um, they really have done well here. And I think I need to take some driving lessons. Okay, let's try some multiplayer gaming. So as we know with any kind of online multiplayer gaming, latency is very important. Input lag will be very important because if you can't fire in time, if you can't you know, dodge the bullet in time, then you're pretty much finished. But let's just see how this handles it. So this is me playing Overwatch. Let's see if I can get any kills. Okay, well there's one kill there. Not bad. We can see guys it's playing very very smoothly and you know I'm moving the mouse very quickly and I'm getting the response that I, I need to play. I'm not noticing any kind of lag, it's not really stuttering or pausing. It looks pretty good to me and um, I'm able to you know take out the bad guys or you know take out these people. Um, and yeah and honestly guys I think after about 10 minutes or so playing on this I completely forgot I was actually playing on a cloud computer somewhere else like you literally do forget that you're playing on a machine that's not local to you just because it is that immersive you're not getting any kind of like you know lag or slowdown um, because trust me if you do get that kind of slowdown you'll notice straight away that oh hang on this is running slowly because the machine is not local to me it's somewhere on the internet but with this I actually forgot that I was playing on a, a shadow computer. So I think that's probably the biggest testament to you know how good this is actually running is if you can play these kind of games, you know, these demanding games with high FPS, you know, get plenty of kills, play like you're actually playing a local computer, um, play well um, without noticing any kind of you know lag, without the thing slowing down, and actually get a victory. So I think that's pretty impressive, guys. So that really. Um, that really kind of sealed the deal for me the fact that i could actually play this kind of game you know on pretty much any device and actually win as well um can't argue with that okay so what do i actually think about the shadow service um i personally think this can be broken down into three different types of people now if you're the first kind of person who is a serious gamer you know he or she loves tinkering they love customization they always build their own pcs they never buy anything off the shelf they just love that customization or quite simply if you have very unreliable internet or maybe you're in a part of the world where you are too far away from the officially sporty data centers which you can see on the screen now if this is you then shadow is not going to be for you right now now the second person he does enjoy gaming he's a, a somewhat serious gamer but 
he doesn't necessarily want to spend fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars on a new gaming setup. Um, on top of that, even if he did buy that, he doesn't want to then have the headache of constantly upgrading, constantly repairing if there's something goes wrong. That kind of upkeep and maintenance, he doesn't want to do that. He does have good internet and he wants to play the latest games from any device. Shadow is definitely worth checking out. If you're that kind of person, I would definitely recommend checking this out, especially because there's no long term contract. So you can try this out for a month, see if it works for you. And if you don't like it, you can cancel, no problems. But if it does work well for you, then this is something you could keep for a very long time. So the last person is a casual gamer. So he or she does like playing games, maybe not every day, but you know, they would like the flexibility of being able to play a new game if it was out there. They would like the flexibility of, you know, having access to a powerful computer. So maybe if they do video editing or they need, you know, certain processing power that they may not have on their current computer. So again, in this scenario, I would recommend trying this out because you could see, does this shadow box have the power that I need? Does it have the bandwidth and accessibility to do the things I want to do? And if it does, great. And if it doesn't, cancel a contract. At least you know you're not tied in for anything long term. If it doesn't work for you, you can just cancel the contract. Wow, you actually made it to the end guys. Uh, many thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. I have actually really enjoyed using this shadow service and I'm just thinking now how I could actually move all of my video editing into the cloud because that will give me the flexibility to make videos wherever I am. But, but once again, guys, many thanks for watching. Do leave a like if you found this video helpful. If there are any questions regarding this service, if you want me to try any particular game or if you want to see more game footage, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.